Now we're going to look at stat, stat panel and the other type of stat procedures. Now they're not overly complicated so don't worry. As you can see I'm in the mobs part of this tutorial and I've got and I built this up from the last few tutorials. I'm just going to indent so that I'm actually belonging to mob and then I'm going to use the command stat. Now this stat has a capital S because it's actually the um, whole procedure that we're going to access. And then we're going to go a new line and we're going to indent again. Then we're going to use the command stat panel. Open bracket and then we're going to call the panel what we want. And I could, you could call it inventory or we could so um, but I'm going to call it stats like that. Okay, so that's the, that's actually saying what type of stat it is. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the command stat again. This time we do not use a capital. I'm going to open bracket and I'll just type in something like gold. So I'm saying that this stat that I'm going to output is going to output the gold variable. Okay, I'm going to then put a comma and then I'm going to output gold. But this time I'm ref the gold that I'm referring to is this variable here. After that, that's just about it. I'm going to compile. And actually, if I run this, you'll actually see what I'm on about. See here, we've got stat, we've got gold, but we've got nothing next to it. Well, that's because we don't actually have any gold. So I'm going to set the gold to equal 5. Compile, rerun it. I see it's outputting the gold is actually 5. I'm very briefly going to just create a verb here. I'm just going to go verb, oops, verb, and I'm just going to go get, I'm just going to go gold becomes gold plus 10. And this is really just to show you that this stat panel works really well. Look, if I go into commands and click get a few times, my stats of gold has gone up. So you can see it's just outputting how much gold we've got. And if you've got different variables, you just do the same thing for each one of those. So as I've already mentioned, the stats variable or procedure is not that actual it's not that hard to get to come to grasp with. It's a fairly thing simple thing. I mean if you wanted you could go stat name and I'm gonna output the U I'm going to output src.key. You could output um, src.name if you wanted, but I haven't actually named it anything at the moment, so I'm just going to output the key. It says name the real uh, gold is five, and so on. So that's really it for stats. Nice and simple. Not much, not much complicated there.